Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Diamond Painting Lisa. I hope you are all doing okay. I'm going to actually be doing a series of videos that I'm going to call Tiny Tips and Tricks. Basically this is just um, some tips that I've learned along the way. Um, some of them are from other creators that I've watched on YouTube so they're not my idea so please don't think that they are my ideas. They're just things I've learned from other creators or things I've just learned as I go along that have helped me. Um, today's video is how to work, how I personally work on a diamond painting. I'm not saying that this is how you need to work on your diamond painting. I'm just saying this is what works best for me. Everyone has their own way of working and that's absolutely fine. But this is how I prefer to work. This kit that I'm currently working on is called Emerald City from Diamond Art Club. And you'll notice that I have actually started this kit. This is why I'm using this kit as an example because it shows how I work. Basically, I personally prefer to keep the cellophane on and then what I do as I'm working along, I'll do a row of release papers like this. Um, I've kept the cellophane there, as you can see, so the cellophane is still on there. And then once I've completed this row, I will then cut the cellophane down. That's personally how I prefer to work. Some people take all the cellophane off and just use release papers. When it's a canvas that's a fairly large one, I prefer to do it personally this way so that that section is not, um, you know, getting any dust or anything on it. I mean, I know the release papers do cover it, but, you know, sometimes they can curl up a little bit on the edges and I just don't want to get any risk of any dust on there. So that's personally how I like to work. So as you can see, this section is a section that I've completed. So I've removed the cellophane and I've just cut it as I go along. It doesn't have to be dead neat. It never is when I cut it. But yeah, I keep that cellophane in place. And I will work on these a section at a time until, you know, I get all the way across the canvas. And I'll just keep the cellophane in place until then. While I'm working on a section, I will just fold this back. And then I will actually just use one of my cover minders. Some, that's something people ask as well. What, what do you use cover minders for? So basically, um, you put the front on there like that, holding your cellophane down. And the back goes under your canvas and sticks to the magnet on the back. Sorry about this. I've got. I think it's because I've got more than one magnet on here. I don't know how that's happened. They do really like to stick to each other. Let me just grab a single magnet. So yeah, just put your cover minder in place, and then put your magnet on the back like that. So that's now holding that cellophane down. So if I'm working on these sections, I don't have to worry about the film coming back onto it. That's personally how I prefer to work. I know, as I say. Everyone has a different way of working, but that's personally how I find the best way. And even like if I was working on this section and I wanted to just drape the canvas down onto my lap, I don't mind doing that with this section because it's not got any drills on it yet. So if I was working on a really small canvas, um, I'd be quite happy to take the cellophane off and just use release papers. But because this one's a fairly decent size, I would prefer to do it this way. One thing I want to say about release papers as well, um, on the diamond painting groups and on YouTube channels, I've seen a lot of people say that the release paper sheets are double sided. Nine times out of 10 or maybe 9.9 .9 times out of 10, they are. These particular release papers that I'm using, I can't even remember who the seller was. I think it was probably on Amazon maybe or eBay. These are not double sided. So just always be a bit mindful. Because people will say, oh yeah, double-sided, you know, they're double-sided. And as I say, they generally are, but these ones are not. Basically, if I show you one of the release papers, if you look at that side, it's shiny and that side is matte. So in all fairness, when I did buy these, the seller had put um, a note in saying, do not stick down on the matte side because it will ruin your canvas. And although if it did stick, you can't, there is ways to get it off, which I'll do in another Tips and Tricks video but ideally it's better to stick it the shiny side down. The way I remind myself that it is like that and it's the best way to do it for me, I got these cheap stickers off AliExpress. So what I do is I put a sticker on each piece on the side that needs to be facing upwards. So basically when I get these release papers out of my packet, which has got a mixture of double-sided release papers and these ones, just to make sure I don't accidentally put them on the wrong way, I just place a little sticker 
on top of my release papers. So just be mindful, as I say, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, they will be double-sided. Most decent companies, they are double-sided. So, you know, don't obviously overly worry about it, but just, you know, it's just a thing to be mindful because it happened to me when I first had these, I did by accident put one on the wrong way around. So yeah, but that for me is how I find it comfortable to work on a diamond painting by keeping the cellophane on, doing a section at a time, putting a section of release papers on and then cutting the cellophane as I go along. That's personally how it works best for me. As I say, everyone has their different ways and you'll find lots of YouTube creators use different methods to me. So you find, you know, which is your best method for you. You don't have to do what I'm doing at all. That's just how I like to work. And it's one of the questions that comes up so many times in the diamond painting groups. You know, what's release paper or, you know, how does release paper work? Is it better to use release paper or is it better to keep the cellophane? You know, some people like don't even know what the cellophane is for and they take it all the way off and then they end up putting it if you take the cellophane off by the way and then you put it down the wrong way it will stick to the canvas so it needs to be a certain way as well so me personally I just prefer to keep the cellophane on and do a section at a time like that that is how I personally prefer to work so if that works for you obviously give it a go let me know in the comments if you work differently to me because I am always interested to see how other people work as well so please do let me know in the comments below. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next tips and tricks video. Goodbye for now.